Hi guys, it's Miss Ashley. Thanks for joining me today. We're gonna be making a fall sun catcher today, which I'm kind of excited about because you know it incorporates all those fall leaves that are falling from the trees. That's one of my favorite parts about the fall season. It's something you can always kind of like anticipate that there's gonna be stuff falling and uh, you know just maybe maybe get out of the way but it's it's great because there's all sorts of color okay that was a pumpkin I'm pretty sure they don't fall anyway join me let's get started for our fall sun catchers we're gonna use some leaves some twigs maybe some flowers we find and anything we can find out in nature or in our own backyards we headed to the park to find some cool leaves and some fun grass. Once you've collected all of your fall nature items, you can bring them back home. We're going to use a square plank, some scissors, a little bit of contact paper, and string and a hole punch are optional. So I did a hole punch on my plate so that I can hang up my design after. Next, I folded my plate diagonally so it looks like a triangle. And I'm gonna use the line on my plate um, to trim the interior square out of my plate. Once I've trimmed it, I open my plate back up and you can see it's a cool frame for my leaves. Then I'm going to take the contact paper, turn my plate over, and put the sticky side down. It easily sticks to the back of the plate. Just cut your contact paper a little bit larger than your hole. Now I can start sticking my fall treasures. Once I feel that it's done, I can add a second layer of contact tape to the plate. Just bigger than the interior square. I press down firmly so that it will stay stuck. I'm going to add a string to mine so I can hang it on the wall or on the window. The girls love creating their sun catchers. If your items are too big, you can even tear them in half or break them into smaller pieces. Wow, they look great. That was fun, guys. Bye.